A big reason why small YouTube channels don't grow is because they don't understand how the algorithm actually works. So today let's get into how the algorithm actually works. Most small YouTubers think that the algorithm is just some computer which generates views to random channels and gives views to others but doesn't give it to other people. I mean why is it that some YouTube channels get millions of views but others literally get zero or 10 views or 20 views max tops and others get millions of views? Why is that? In reality, the YouTube algorithm is not anything to be afraid of. It actually is completely real viewers watching the videos on YouTube. And luckily, there are specific techniques out there that you can do to get views and subscribers faster. Let's talk about one of the most important things to the YouTube algorithm, and that is called watch history. Whenever someone watches a video on YouTube, it gets stored in their watch history. If you look at your YouTube homepage, you can easily see channels that you've already seen before and from there you can actually see recommended videos that are similar to the ones you've already watched. But that doesn't come from nowhere, it's come from videos that YouTube wants to recommend you because it's based off things you've seen before. But the question you might be asking right now is, doesn't that only benefit big YouTube channels? And how does that benefit a smaller YouTube channel starting from scratch with zero subscribers and zero views? Well, let me tell you. The answer is in secret number one of today, which is diversifying your content strategy the right way. Lots of channels actually use this technique without even knowing it and Matt Parr actually uses this and it's talked about in the Tube Mastery course if you check that out in the link in the description down below. But we're going to reveal it here for you for free right now. Really it's about what type of content you're producing and how you're going about it because what I would recommend to grow your channel up there and scale it up massively is to focus on suggested videos but when you're just starting out, when you're completely starting from zero, you're not going to use suggested. We don't recommend to use that straight away. Obviously it's amazing if you can go on suggested but that isn't going to be your focus right away when posting videos. Obviously, the main goal of posting on YouTube is to get on the suggested of massive YouTube channels out there. Imagine being on the side of Mr. Beast's video when people finish watching that video and they watch your video after. Imagine how many views you can get from that. And that is the power of suggested content on YouTube. But like I said, we're not going to be talking about that right now. We're going to come to that eventually. Basically, in order to diversify the content we're producing, we're going to go and do the strategy in different ways for the content we're producing. To start with, we're gonna create about 30 video ideas and half of these are gonna be search results based. We want search results based videos when starting out because YouTube actually has no idea what your channel is about and who the channel should be targeting. So obviously by targeting the search results, you can easily tell YouTube what your video is about and actually YouTube will store that in their data. Basically, we want to find keywords that are typed in regularly but have little competition. That is the goal here. So how do we do this? We at Tube Mastery use a tool called VidIQ and we can recommend it down below. If you use MatPar the discount code, you get a discount for it as well. And using VidIQ, we can go to the built-in keyword tool planner and using that, you can easily find keywords that have low competition but are searched a lot. And basically, we want to put those keywords into different places such as the title, in the description, but make sure that it's a natural way in sentences without being too spammy. And you also want to put it into the tags as as long as it's what the video is about and it's relevant to the content. Here's a tip, pick a topic that doesn't have millions of views yet but has good earning potential. If you're interested in what niche to pick, check out Matt Paul's video which tells you about different niches that you can actually choose from. So after you've made about 15 out of the 30 videos which are related to search results, you should be getting at least some views from that. If you're not, then you've done something wrong probably with the keyword research and that sort of thing. It's time to move on to the next part which is the holy grail of YouTube which is YouTube suggested. This is where it gets tasty, I'm telling you. Very tasty, a big tasty. Secret two, secret of suggested. So how can we get the other 50% of our videos from videos that are popular out there already? VidIQ actually has a tool exactly for you to do this as well. If you download the VidIQ Chrome extension, it will link you to the trending tab, and this is where you can find some videos to create. Using this trending tab, you can see what other videos on other channels are getting in terms of views per hour on their channels. This means that they are videos that are getting views right this very moment and they're videos that you want to model. So obviously this tool is very, very good for you to use because it tells you what's working right now, not 10 years ago, right now. So here's how to find out what's going well. So you want to search your niche on YouTube. Make a list of the five to 10 top channels out there that are getting views in your niche. Make sure they're producing the same videos that you want to produce. Then go to their trending tabs as shown by the VidIQ extension. Write down the titles of the videos that were getting the most views per hour that were uploaded over a week ago. But you might be wondering why are we asking for content uploaded more than a week ago? This tells us that the videos were very successful based off the content they're making and it's a success that they posted that video. Anything over even 30 views per hour shows that the content is very good and if it's a really old piece of content and it's still getting that views, it tells us that it's an evergreen piece of content which is exactly what content we would want to make. And then we can make these video ideas in our own way and make them even more valuable. And this brings us on to secret number three, the secret of valuable content. 
The YouTube algorithm promotes content that benefits the actual viewer and gives value to them because the YouTube viewer will then watch more videos on their channel. And your value doesn't have to be groundbreaking, it can just be educational or informative or literally just you know, entertaining literally is the main thing. Here's a checklist for making sure your content is super valuable. Take the video you're creating and paste it into YouTube search. Then open the top three videos that come up. Then open a Google Doc and write down the best talking points and the best parts from each of the videos. But do this in no specific order and in your own words. Then go to the comment sections of those three videos and see what the top comments are. Usually there'll be questions people have or just funny things that people have talked about. Make sure you write these down in your script because it gives viewers an extra thing that they could potentially add to your video. But make sure you give credit to the other video if it's something important. And if it's any questions at the top comments, make sure that you answer them in your video that you're creating. Make sure you write it in your own words after then you can add your own jokes, wisdom or personality to it. And finally, obviously put it into chronological order so it makes sense. If you're talking about something that's entertainment based, it probably doesn't matter too much. Now, let's think about what we just did here. The video you produce is not only incredibly valuable, but we took the best points from other videos and added our own things into it as well, which is how you actually make the best content on YouTube. You took what's already working, added your own research to it and improved on it, and you're posting out there and it's your unique video idea already. And at that point, it'll be strange if your video didn't get any views because, right, you've done all of that. Surely that's going to help you get more views. Then you just want to make sure you optimize your video with the best keywords and title and thumbnail and then you're sure to get all the views in the world. If you're wondering about thumbnails, let's go through a quick checklist right now. Keep the primary elements to three or less and the primary elements are things like people or objects. Make everything big. Keep text to a minimum and big. Make sure everything is easy to read and understand and model other thumbnails that have worked in your niche. And you obviously want to make them in your own way, but model what's already worked. Now check out this video over here to find out how you can get over a thousand subscribers as quickly as possible. I'll reveal a step-by-step -step formula of how to do this. So if you're looking to grow your channel, I truly believe you'll gain a lot of value. So I'll see you there.